one. If I was to have some mechanical bullshit on me, it would bug me a lot. Oh, V. You get any sleep? No matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jagged into that corpo's biomon. Dunno, uh, neurovirus, sir. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw some threads, meet me downstairs. Holy. Hey V, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. I'm watching you. How you like my new punching bag? Huh. Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so how about it? That head moving. Everybody out the ring right now. You mentioned something about fighting. Mm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. Oh, wow. You get okay. the rest. Uh, I'll tolerate that. I guess I can tolerate that. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, Clear except you crystal won't be range, outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. Man of the hour. Hey. Jeez. Took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. <laughs> Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. All right. I mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. <laughs> Go on. All right, I'm listening. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Totally the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated coup. So, what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal? He's riding on you now, is he? Why does it say system malfunction so? Probably tells me something's up. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back. And my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong, don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit, 
Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them oh. to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our oh, uh, dust off the scabs. Weird. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Oh, a thousand thank yous. Some top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Oh, hell yeah. Let's feel this factory new. Yeah, ride. let's go. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Uh, not the best Find parking, but it'll dust. suffice. Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. Alrighty. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. <laughs> Alrighty. What is this? Ripper Docs. There are several Ripper Docs operating through Night City who offer a variety of different cyberware upgrades. Select your desired cybernetic upgrade from the list and enjoy your new abilities. Vicky, right. surprise every old Ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But? Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Interesting. Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. No, he hasn't. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Yes, uh, sir. Chair, please. Sit down and relax. All right. Karoshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack in. Alrighty. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Our mechanical replacements for the organic parts of your body give you superhuman-like abilities which can improve your combat capability and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Interesting. So... Cyberware. Interesting. Okay. Enhances your vision. Okay. Ballistic cope, for s cope processor. Oh. Increases the chance to ricochet shots with power weapons. Oh, hell yeah. Operating system. Oh, that's kind of fancy. Oh, hell no. I ain't up for that. Not yet. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm 
ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Excelsior. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Oh, that was quite easy. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. <laughs> Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky gannic hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Whoa. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, beautiful. Scanning people with your optical cyber work can provide you with a lot of useful information, such as how strong an enemy might be, who is in their crew, or what type of weapon they use. As a skilled netrunner, you can see a list of quick cans which you can use against your enemies. Interesting. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Oh, I see it. Hell yeah. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Copy. I should have asked, what is it? Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Hell yeah. Alrighty. Chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. Damn. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I had talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? What the fuck? This is some sort of test. Eh, just a pet topic of mine. You mean... riddles? No, Mr. V. Ontology. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. 
Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Fuck it. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Klein, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Okay. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. Yeah, it's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plane dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this ship's from one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Corpo agent, what's she playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport. Got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her bosses learn she fucked up. Well, Mr. V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Copy. Well... Do it. One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Thank you. Performing certain actions will reward you street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the night city underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. That's very simple. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. 
That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> Chingon. Then there's the other thing. The Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Let's start with the female. Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. Yep. Okay. 